In the audio industry, three friends, including a brilliant engineer, Danila the master, and a marketing guru, graduate from Johns Hopkins Institute in Baltimore. In 1972, during the audio industry's golden age, they establish Polk Audio Company. You know, this company is associated with many people as with an ideal price quality ratio because if you purchased a shelf, you definitely received a good product for a small sum of money. On our test, I'm not afraid of the cult model RTI A7. Since 07, these columns have been produced in their original form. Discover their secret and why. In a competitive environment, they stay relevant, competing with new products at an average of $600 per column. Well, let's start with the design. They look quite classic, and if you are a supporter of high-tech, these speakers definitely won't suit you. Regrettably, only two colors were available, and they have not been updated yet. The colors are black and a so-called cherry. It is interesting that the manufacturer says that the columns are made of MDF, using Dickley technology. This is an asymmetrical hexagonal insulation with damping made of a six-layer viscous laminate for enhanced performance. Can you imagine how it sounds? In reality, when you listen to good bass, it's serious. The body doesn't rattle excessively. It's heavy. Maybe all the weight went into the dynamics, which is actually good. I opened the columns, looked inside, and still couldn't tell if it's MDF. Seems like a California Sequoia. Extremely big columns, impressive, weighing 25 kilograms, measuring over a meter in length, and observe their impressive depth. Half a meter, nearly. Three-way system. High-frequency silk polymer speaker, 1 inch, 6.5 inches. Mid-frequency speaker, phase inverter by the way. Comrades from San Diego were modest and did not mention anywhere, at least on the body, that these columns support the ARC technology, acoustic resonance control, which is essentially a small front port. Inverter phase. This port is utilized for achieving a more authentic and natural reproduction of mid-frequencies. And one more thing, Twitter and mid-frequency speaker, they have a common space in the housing. Typically, they are separated, two low-frequency drivers on a rubber suspension. Each speaker measures seven inches, they walk well and produce good bass, but regrettably, they lack long stroke capabilities. According to the manufacturer, this system starts booming from a frequency of 20 Hz. Of course, not as good as Sub, for example, and 3L, but nevertheless, there was enough bass in the movies. Scientists have provided bassists with non-ordinary magnets. Cooling is carried out by a low viscosity ferromagnetic liquid and a radiator on the backside. This technical move improves reliability and manageability, as per the designers. In front of the phase inverter, the proprietary powered Port Plus tech, this is also a patented tech by Polk Audio. The meaning is that two phase inverters are positioned opposite each other. Behind them, there is a plate with a cone, which enhances efficiency and performance. The point is that the air coming out of the phase inverter is split back by this cone, and the sounds are practically inaudible. The rubber suspension encloses the mid-range speaker and two woofers, and the speakers are made of a polymer composite material. I hope these dynamics don't crumble like in the S90 after 30 years of operation. Stamps. We have the ability to connect the so-called B wiring. Honestly, the labels are such, well, budget, definitely. There are caps. They appear to be covered in gold, although I believe it's just paint, and the scent here doesn't resemble that of 24 carats. Unfortunately, grills are non-magnetic, which negatively impacts the appearance of the front facade. The black holes designed for installing the protective plastic mesh detract from its beauty. However, the mesh is made of a durable material that cannot be easily pierced. This feature is not only practical, but also enhances the overall appeal of the grills. The mesh is woven so tightly that even a fully grown adult finds it challenging to extract it from its position. Simultaneously, the child won't remove it. If there are kids, we install it. If not, we remove it for improved sound without the mesh. Columns have magnetic protection, so if you have something buzzing with electricity, you can confidently place them next to this source without extraneous sounds. Few people know about these features. 
The legs protrude, enhancing stability but complicating fitting into precise dimensions. This series has strong protruding legs, a plus and minus for stability and precise fitting. A rubber gasket, good quality, replaceable with spikes, is available for purchase. For example, if you have a carpet and you want to pierce your laminate, completely different columns in the presentation of the musical genre and the cinematographic genre. We deliberately disabled the central channel in our test system, left the configuration 4.1.2 and, you know, in movies these speakers convey dialogues very well, convey very well. The pressure is akin to a musical wave. The stage is grand, vast, but it lacks the delicate nuances in the music that could elevate the performance. This is a typical American sound. If you enjoy listening to rock, industrial and heavy rock, they perform these genres exceptionally. However, jazz, blues and vocals still lack the desired delicacy and refinement. The high frequency speaker is bright but not annoying. You can listen to them for hours without getting tired. However, if you only need music, I wouldn't recommend them. They are great for extended listening sessions but not ideal for music-only purposes. In terms of movies, definitely a 9, but when it comes to music, I would still give them a 7. On the one hand, we have everything good in terms of design, but on the other hand, these columns definitely won't fit into the high-tech interior. Personally, I find this design outdated. If, for example, we compare the monitor of the audio line of the new bronze with a classmate, which simply causes such a wow effect in appearance, there is no such thing here. Clearly an old school, lacking magnetic grills, but it can easily rival these monitors in terms of sound quality and overall performance. Design is a well-deserved 7, and these bolts as you can see right in front of you, I believe they might be concealed naturally, then the arrangement would appear more, let's say, unified. The reliability score is 8 points, I genuinely dislike this corpus in these columns. On one hand, it seems like MDF, but on the other hand, it doesn't feel like MDF at all. But as for the sound, well, they're empty, yet heavy in weight. We turned them on very loudly, there was no compression. The main assessment is price quality. Definitely 9 points. They are perfect for movie enthusiasts. If you have a room that exceeds 20 square meters, I strongly advise against placing these columns in a room measuring around 15-16 square meters. Powerful speakers dig deep, 20 Hz specifically. To get them to open up, you require a well-equipped, spacious and ready room. Due to the fact that the rear phase inverter is closed, you can place them close to the wall. This is very important for many people because, for example, I cannot move the speakers 2-3 to three meters away from the wall in my room. With a phase inverter at the back, we can confidently place them close. The R-Type series has stood the test. In these columns there are many technologies, many technical innovations that are still relevant. Despite not having the most modern design, they can be confidently recommended to movie enthusiasts and lovers alike. Ah, if it weren't for this outdated design and these placeholders, I would definitely install them in my cinema. For retro enthusiasts and fans of quality cinema, this speaker is perfect. It's bassy, powerful and exactly what you need to enhance your movie experience.